Hey, David here at Arc Labs Welding School. I'm a huge fan of Destin and the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. He had a video on about the upcoming solar eclipse, which by the way, will pass directly over our newest campus here in Fort Worth, Texas. He had a guest on that said you shouldn't stare at the sun through welding glasses. Is this true? I mean, we stare at an arc that is brighter than the sun using welding lenses. So I wanted to know more. Let's find out. All right, I'm back here in uh, Piedmont. We're with Sam Chance. Sam Chance is our welding program director. Uh, he's got a CWI. He has a background in welding engineering and aerospace, naval nuclear, heavy equipment. Uh, anything that I missed? No, that's yes. it. <laughs> so I saw Destin's Smarter Every Day video, and I will say it was a little bit surprising to me. Um, and I wanted to find out more about this, and so I'm coming to you, and we and I asked you to help me look into: Is it true that you can that you should not use welding glasses, as stated in the video, to stare at the solar eclipse? And so we did a little bit of research. Um, Here's some papers that we downloaded to do the research so that you don't have to and answer the question. Um, but let's first look at let's look at the video where they talk about whether or not you should use welding glasses or lenses to stare at the solar eclipse. I, I've heard of people using like so, welding glasses and stuff like that. What what are your thoughts on that? So welding glasses are not certified because they don't block the right amount of infrared and ultraviolet light. So these are certified to block amount uh, the right amount for for viewing. It's got to be ISO one two three one two dash two. So when you first heard this, what was your thought about the ability to use welding glasses? It would make sense that, you know, welding lenses are designed to block certain types of light from a welding arc, right. but not the sun. And that those, the sun would emit different types of radiation than a welding arc would. Yeah. So we looked into this, uh, and that's what we got the different documents here that, that, uh, talk about what you should be able to use for a, during a solar eclipse. What's the conclusion? So both of these documents, um, the ISO standard itself and a study by the University of Waterloo concluded that a shade 14 lens is safe for right. looking at a solar eclipse. But even, but even this, the, uh, the American Astronomical Society was even saying you could do a shade 12, yep. right? But the ISO only references Shade 14, yep. okay, and how common are these different uh, shades of lenses? Yeah, so Shade 12 is fairly common. Um, it's used for things like shield metal arc welding, um, some of those higher amperage welding processes. Shade 13 and 14 are much less common. Um, I don't know that I've ever even actually seen a Shade 14 in person. And it's not clear if 12 is, based on reading this in the research that we did, if 12 is sufficient. It is by one metric, but the ISO standard that is referenced in the video does not mention Shade 12. Yes. It just says 14 is, is good enough. Um, and we'll put, you know, we can put links to this stuff in the, uh, in the comments. Um, so... But I do want to make one distinction because he did say welding glasses. If you if someone talked about welding glasses, what do you think that they're talking about? Yeah, so when I heard welding glasses, my first thought was like gas welding glasses, like old school 1940s welding glasses. Um, right. And those you definitely don't want to use. Um, those are probably only like a shade eight. They're kind of one size fits all. Um, they're kind of antiquated back from the days of oxyacetylene welding. The advice here is yeah you're better off getting those inexpensive paper solar uh, eclipse glasses off of amazon let's answer the question as far as why does this how does this make sense sure. so because we we look at a welding arc that is by all accounts brighter than the sun brighter than the sun as viewed from earth sure. right so how is it that any of these welding lenses aren't sufficient to look at a solar eclipse. Yeah, so when, when you think about a welding lens <clears throat> and the sun, you know, light is, is an electromagnetic field, right? And so there's, there's all these different waves of light and just a very small percentage is visible light. 
Um, so welding lenses are designed to block both ultraviolet and infrared light, as well as different intensities of visible light from the arc. So you just want to make sure you're selecting the right lens. Um, so when welding lenses, you choose welding lenses based on a chart that is your welding process and the amount of amperage that you're using. Uh, because different processes and different amounts of amperage produce different types and amounts of light. And so welders select the shade based on that process and amperage in order to make sure they're blocking the correct amount of light so that they don't damage their eyes. Um, and so I think this is just a case of the sun has certain intensities of different wavelengths of light that happen to correspond with this shade 12 to shade 14 range. Right. For me, it was a little bit of a surprise, like, oh, you can't use welding lenses. It wasn't obvious to me. So what I tell our graduates is always be learning. You, you, you got your certificate. You're just starting on your journey of learning. Be humble. Always be learning, or I guess you say to, for for Destin, be smarter every day. <laughs> so uh, this is this is a, for me was a was a, a a fun exercise to dig into this and understand this stuff uh, a little bit deeper. I don't know if you learned anything on, on this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Anyhow, so guys, when you're we're out there viewing the solar eclipse, enjoy it. It is an awesome experience. If you happen to be in the Dallas and the Fort Worth area, please go by our campus and you can we'll have a viewing party there. You can watch it there. Uh, but be safe and uh, enjoy it.